I don't know what kind of agenda somebody could have for unseat the mayor. Don't get paranoid, my brethren. Don't get paranoid. Nobody's trying to, at least not me, which is I make the statement. Nobody's trying to get you out of your seat as mayor. So, move on. Declaring that there appears to be an agenda to make his administration look bad, Lucy Mayor Sheridan Samuels told yesterday's sitting of the Hanover Municipal Corporation that he hates the media. One eight. Samuels, who was chairing the monthly meeting of the HMC, attacked recent media reports highlighting the dirty and unhealthy state of the parish which was recently overwhelmed by a foul scent from genes that had feces. I mean, I mean, what's the feces in there? Had feces dumped into them from compromised drainage pipes. That means that there's drainage pipe that is there that is not being kept clean. Devon Brown, the councillor of the Opel Division, who recently told the Glean that the, the, that the HMC had received funding for drain cleaning and gave the mayor... Listen to this. I never ever see that part here. This is the part I never ever see. Devon Brown, the counselor for the Opel Division, who recently told the Gleaner that the HMC had received funding for drain cleaning and gave the mayor an ultimatum to start using the funds, intervened during the mayor's rant and asked him why he was so bitter against the media. Me never ever hear that part there. Devon Brown, the councillor, said funds were allotted to clean the drain. And him get up in the meeting and say, him can't understand why the councillor was so bitter against the media. Bridging. Devon, you don't know why. Because Mota Baroka talk it by radio, said the, 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 the thing is a shame. Hear him now. The, this is the counselor, this is the mayor talk now. I am not bitter. I hate the media. I hate the media at three times that now. If you say, I am not bitter, you must, if you hate it, you know, you, and you say it, you reiterate it twice in a one sentence. That means say you're bitter. I'm not just bitter, but him hate the media. So I'm say I am not just bitter. I hate the media. I hate the media. As a matter of fact, not just the media. I hate some people who work in the media. <laughs> Mr. Bass, where my name? Where my name? Mr. Samuels, call me name, man. Call me name. Call me call you out. Muta Baroka had nothing to do with IRFM. It has something to do with me sitting down here and see something that could cause the death of many other citizens in, in Lucy. And I say, are you responsible? And the, the minister should have locked you up. And now it, it reiterate by Mr. Devon Brown, the council, and say, the funds were allotted. And I don't know why you should have get so bitter against somebody saying, the place need clean. All right. Samuels went on to argue that some aspects of recent Glena report about the dirty state of Lucy was inaccurate and he intimate yeah he said that there was a plot to make the administration look bad. Well me don't know not about the Glena um talking about the dirty state of Lucy. Talk with all me the Glena here at talk with it and then for light up to not no wrong with that. All right. You must report correctly. Samuel shouted, turning, turning his glare on members of the media. So some media people was there. So the media who was there obviously was a gleaner. So the gleaner now reported back. You have sent an article. You have sent an article the other day that I say that I spoke to the minister about cleaning the drain. And that was not correct. But I know why you behaving so enough. You know, but I will not tell you no. All right, so the gleaner 
I'm paranoid about the cleaner now because the cleaner carries something with me that I talk about. Okay. In December 2017, the HMC banned members of the media from its physical planning, environmental and development committee meeting. However, their action was condemned by local government minister Desmond Mackenzie, who instructed that the ban be lifted immediately. At a subsequent meeting of the committee, Samuel apologized for the ban, describing it as misunderstood. Okay. So me I direct myself now to Mr. Sh the Mia Alusi. The Mia Lucy, your counsel saying can't understand. Oh you're so bit, oh you're so irate against something. Well, here what me I say now. You see, if I talk so, I you not do nothing about it. And now me I say, them should have locked you up. And that me I say. Them should have locked you up because the minister want to lock up people who are cause. Things for stay as it is, for breed up mosquito, for kill our Jamaican people. And we have so much mosquito thing for deal with now. And something that can be avoided. Something that is in the middle, the center of the gateway to Negril. One of our main attractions in Jamaica. Me as a normal citizen are driving a bus and can see that. As a matter of fact, the road was so congestive that the, the bus was taking like one space. One space. So I'm here look on the thing the whole time. I'm here look on the shop them where I sell things over it. That means you know you have to walk over the trench for going at the shop them. Brethren, I don't care if you feel say you live in a third world country, but you wanna know. I ain't not living in a third world country. And anytime I see them thing there, because I consider myself very serious about the environment. Very serious. I don't ever eat meat to show me serious about it. And it's not because I feel so I go healthier. But I understand what happens when we have too much livestock farming. It creates havoc in the environment. Because it push out methane gas. We help to pollute the air. We help to cause less oxygen to come to we as human beings. So you hear me I say now. You can't boss. You could have you could have talked to your boss. You could have talked to your boss. I would hope that you take it bitterly. Just like how you're bitter. And and just like how you call eight four times in a one little speech. Four times you say eight. I never know say one me I could have so much eight in him.